Let's start with uh, Lieutenant Colonel Pittman. Uh, attracting HBCU cadets, uh, how important is that for the military and how important is that for the cadet? Also for the military, we talk about African American leadership in the military. We talk about equity, equality, and um, inclusion and diversity. We need African American officers in to make sure that as they go through the ranks, they'll be African Americans able to get most to, uh, one star, two star, and four star, and, and above. So. Good morning, gentlemen. Uh, can you all tell me why you chose uh, to get involved in ROTC? Um, I chose to get involved in ROTC because I knew I wanted to be a leader. Um, I knew I wanted to go into the military, and I felt like this was the best option for me. Um, I did ROTC in high school, and I always knew ROTC was an option. So this was kind of part of my plan, sir. Uh, how important is a legacy of success whether it's in the ROTC or in life for those who are following us. Do you have any thoughts on that, Mr. Owens? Uh, I just think it's important to, uh, you know, whatever you want, go get it. Always keep your ambition and uh, keep pushing. Whenever things get rough, keep it going. And keep moving forward. Uh, my life changed because I had a powerful praying mama who never gave up on me even when I was about to flunk out of high school as a freshman. Uh, I had a great mentor that came along shortly thereafter that helped me see potential. Uh, any, anyone have a strong opinion on the importance of being a mentor and not just having one? When you have a mentee, they kind of look to you and it kind of you know, ups your standards. So it molds you as a person and a leader to be a mentor. It's very important that you find someone to be a mentor to, to kind of mold yourself, keep your career going, keep your life going. So I feel like that's why it's important. for you because of course you said you were doing the programs have you ever thought about doing a program where you can actually excuse me provide the resources or help with some of those minority or our African Americans get to the clinical trials to where we can have more participants into helping with cancer research so what I try to do was set up a focus on uh, using churches, nonprofit organizations, and small businesses to try to spread the necessity of having more minorities, more people of color participating in all trials. The ones that I focused on, of course, in the last 18 months has been the, the vaccine. Uh, so on a larger topic of, of cancer research, I think the same approach has to be taken. Uh, so Medical University of South Carolina, uh, depending on which trial phase they're in, uh, typically, there's at least three phases of, of, of trial drugs and experimental uh, procedures. Uh, they are actually now paying people, to, of course, more money now than before to participate in different trials. Well, Colonel Pittman, uh, thank you for such an attentive audience and very, very good questions, honestly, and uh, great answers as well. Thank you for your leadership, sir. And I know that the United States Army will be far better off with uh, leaders like you all in the room uh, leading this nation. And I look forward, if uh, some of you guys are on the fast track to become a general officer in the next six to eight years, maybe I'll be around to uh, uh, promote you. So uh, that's, that's an impossibility, I know. But uh, uh, good luck, God bless, and we'll see you soon.